Well, I'm sure you're all aware by now that the Liverpool squad were unable to fly back home to Merseyside after the game last night, but at the second time of asking, we are on board. Um, Brendan, quite a strange situation, I guess. Yeah, it is, yeah, but you better have been safer than sorry. I suppose we, um, obviously it would have been ideal to have flown back last night, but uh, but we've been well looked after. Obviously our um, the tour operators and the people who organise us have organised us all well. Um, and in fairness, it hasn't affected us too much really. We've been able to recover mm -hmm. well uh, overnight and uh, recover this morning. And, uh, and then we'll have one preparation session before our, our game against West Ham. So, uh, so let's hope we all go home safe and sound and, and there's no more dramas. Because supporters will, will want to know how much it does actually affect things because things are planned right down to the T, aren't they? So uh, you, you don't think it's altered things too much? Not too much, no. I think most of the players here uh, would have been on a first day recovery anyway. The only ones that maybe slightly it would affect it might have been the players left at home. Okay. Uh, but that's all been taken care of. Stephen Gerrard, Lucas, Daniel, um, they'll all have done a good session this morning. Uh, so they'll be fine and topped up, ready for the session tomorrow. And like I say, most of the players that played last night were on their first day recovery today anyway. So what's important for them is their, as I said, their preparation for Sunday in relation to their nutritional needs. So. They've all been taken care for there, and obviously our, our medical and sports science team here have ensured that this morning they had that good recovery. So, uh, so no, it's uh, it's just one of those things that you can't control. But when it when it happens, then it's important that you that you do the best uh, mm -hmm. for the players and for everyone. And uh, as I said, everyone's fine, and and now we'll just look forward to the weekend. But everyone's in good spirits because the most important thing you got the win last night. Yeah, it, well, obviously it would have been totally different if we would have. Uh, lost the game and it was a real unique game last night because our aim, I always felt and I said to the players beforehand that this was uh, a game where I think we can get to the top of the group but it was also on the other hand a game where if it didn't work out well you could have finished bottom of the group which would have been incredible really but uh, I think the overall outcome for us has been really really satisfying mm -hmm. because we have um, won the mentality of the team, we had to go and win last night and I think that shows the great improvement in the group that we're able to come out to Udinese, uh, a team with experience and, uh, and come and win the game which obviously ultimately got us through uh, but that shows me that it's another mark and a step forward for us in terms of how the group's evolving um, but also what we've been able to do over the course of the tournament is that as we've been able to blood a lot of young players and, uh, and obviously a lot of the teams that we've played have been experienced teams and experienced players so it's, it's a great credit to the, the, the playing staff and the players themselves at how well they've come through the group, finished top and now we wait to see who we get in the next round and, and as I said, everyone is happy and, mm -hmm. and we move on. So even though things didn't go quite according to plan after the game, uh, you wake up this morning, you're in the next round of the competition, have you had a chance to look at who Liverpool could face? Yeah, there's still going to be some fantastic teams in it, but that's the nature of it. You know, it was a we played ten games, you know, to arrive in the position that we're in. We now know the next round of game is going to be difficult for us, but um, but that's the nature of it, and we hope that we can continue and and as I said, get a favourable draw. But I think every team that we'll get is going to be a difficult game, uh, but it's going to be one that by the time the tournament restarts again we're going to be in a, a better moment because each day that we go by we're improving all the time. So come February uh, we'll be in a good position and we'll really look forward to it. So we get back to Liverpool um, in a couple of hours time then, uh, what's the first thing that you and the players do? Well the plan, obviously they've recovered today, the players, uh, the guys left at home have done their work. So um, we'll arrive back at Melwood and uh, the players will go off and rest and recover and get ready to come in for our last preparation session tomorrow. Uh, the staff will sit down. We have got a tactical meeting at four o'clock. Uh, or before that, we've got one of our young players signing his professional contract, Jordan Ebay. So we we'll look forward to seeing Jordan when we go back. He'll sign that today, which is great. Four o'clock, we have a tactical meet with the staff and we'll go over our final touches and analysis of West Ham. Mm -hmm. um, and then We'll get another, some more meetings after that, and uh, as I said, then we then get ready for the next day's training. Okay, looking ahead to West Ham, then uh, the players must be in, in confident mood ahead of that one because of the result last night. Yeah, and not only last night. I think our ongoing performances, mm -hmm. 
have been very, very good. Uh, the players are feeling confidence all the time. Um, we're obviously been narrow in our victories in our last couple of victories, and they could have been more clinical, and we could have won by more. But the most important thing is we're winning games, and uh, and obviously, as I said, I believe as the season goes on, we'll we'll become more clinical and uh, and see improvements in and obviously are finishing at the top end of the field. So, uh, so no, but we know West Ham will be a tough game. They've had a fantastic result in their last game against uh, Chelsea. So, uh, as I said, Sam has done very, very well. They're getting them promoted and a promoted team coming up. Normally, as I said, will be always very, very difficult to, to beat. But as I said, we'll arrive at Upton Park with great confidence. And uh, as I said, the nature of our game is getting better all the time. You're still looking for back-to-back -back victories in the league, so is this a real opportunity to hopefully get that this weekend? Well, I hope so, and I think it's important that if you're going to be successful, you've got to be consistent. Um, and we've shown uh, over the course of this season that, uh, as I said, we, we probably haven't got that wee final bit of luck. Maybe that might have been needed. You know, we went eight games there unbeaten, some of those wins and a number of those draws, and the draws could be very easily turned into victories. So... Uh, but I think it's important if you're going to challenge consistently up the top end, you're always striving for that level of consistency. Um, the players, in fairness to them, the consistency in their preparation and their work every single day has been brilliant. Um, we're blooding a lot of young players into the group and we're asking them to do men's jobs at this level. Uh, so sometimes that breeds that inconsistency, but certainly it's something that we're improving on. And uh, as I said, if we can go to West Ham, get a good result, get the victory, that'll keep us moving in the right direction. No Luis Suarez, obviously this weekend, could this be an opportunity for one of the young players or will you consider a change of formation? Well, it's something that we'll look at. I think it's an opportunity for probably one of the younger players. Um, but listen, we are, we are what we are. We've got numbers of players in the group that can score goals. I think that I've seen a statistic which was really interesting in terms of um, I think the record numbers of goal scores in any one season for Liverpool is 18. Mm -hmm. We've actually had 15 up until this point. So it shows you that actually our goals are actually spread out around the team. What we have to do is, is make more of the chances and get more goals. Uh, but I think we've seen that there are enough goal scorers that who can score the goals. Uh, and that's something that will really excite us and look forward to at, uh, at West Ham. Just finally then, um, Stephen Gerrard, will he be available? And, and Lucas and Nuri Shaheen as well? Well, Nuri will remain a question mark. We'll see how he is. Obviously, he broke his nose last night, and uh, so that'll spoil his good looks for a few days. Um, but we'll see how he is and let the doctor have a look at him and assess how uh, what the risk is in that. Stephen will be fine. He's He obviously was ill for a couple of days, um, but he's back in training, so there's no problem. Uh, Lucas, again, we had to manage him and Daniel carefully. Uh, Lucas only back from injury, so to play three games in a, in a week would be much on his first week back so he'll come back in the squad and Daniel Agger has been brilliant for us and, and like I say just managing him to make sure we can maximise the games that he can play so we've got a strong squad going of course Lou is a miss because he's a world class player but our ethos will always be about the team and the collective and that's something that uh, we'll hope will prove good for us at uh, the weekend